Hey world of YouTube, it's Schwa from Misplaced Kame here. How you guys doing? Right on. Alright, so I just got in from work and as you can see we're in a different location, which is kind of weird because I'm so used to being in that other location with all that cool stuff behind me and whatnot. That's not happening in this particular location. There's somebody cleaning the room right now. Because they're in there cleaning up the study, I have to do everything here in my office. It don't 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 think that there's a maid or a butler or anything like that. Not even close. It's actually just the the missus decided that she wanted to do some cleaning and some redecorating or whatnot, and she kind of kicked me out of the bedroom. So with that said, since I can't get into the lounge at the moment, I here here in my office. So uh, first things first, I got a new box in, and this week we actually got a couple boxes coming in. I know I've got like at least five or something. So keep an eye on the channel because after you watch this video, most likely there'll be another video and another video, another video. Anyway and so forth. Anyway, so this video here is for Collectible Geek. This is my first time doing Collectible Geek. Collectible Geek is a American company. Um, generally how it works is they pick a theme for the month and what you do is you pay $25 plus shipping and uh, they'll ship it right to you at the end of the month and there's always a different theme and it's always lots of fun. Uh, so this one here is what we like to call the Cowabunga Cash. So I promise I'll never do that again. Uh, so, uh, I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan, always have been a Ninja Turtles fan. Uh, my first time going to the movie theater was to see the Ninja Turtle movie from back in the 90s. Uh, so, I'm kind of excited because this is going to have sort of Ninja Turtle stuff. So when I heard about it, I always thought, like, okay, Funko Pops. I only collect, like, three things, like, in sets. Everything else is always so scattered and random. I know that, uh, the Mrs. collects the Funko Mystery Minis of Disney. I collect the Ninja Turtle mystery minis here beside the Paranorman stuff, and I also collect uh, the Bobblehead X-Men figurines. So I was like, alright, cool, so I can get some mystery minis, complete the collection, get some Funko Pop stuff, it's going to be really cool. And then I saw the box today. And this is the box, Collectible Geek, with a little Collectible Geek symbol. Um, it's very thin. In fact, this could have fit in my mailbox, I don't even think I need to go pick it up as a package. So this kind of has me wondering, what's in here? Because in the past, they did like 80s theme, which looked really cool, and I was just kind of bummed that I never got to see, and there was a fantasy theme, but I don't know. The only way we're going to find out is to cut her open. So, <laughs> I'm sure that looked really creepy. Um, all right, let's try not to cut myself. Is that it? All right. And as always, we do it the mystery way, so you can't see anything, and I can't see anything. I'm really excited because there has not been a single spoiler for this one. On top, we have paper. Okay. There we go. First thing we have is... It's a pocket pop keychain of Donatello. And I already have this. So, uh, once we hit 50 views, I'm going to be doing a crazy, crazy giveaway. I have a box full of stuff. And it's all stuff I've been purchasing, but this one's probably going to go in there. Because I don't think I need another one. Maybe if it was Mikey or Raphael or one of the other guys, you can go up there for now. Okay, so pocket pump, pocket pop. All right, and also we have a shot glass. Okay, different Ninja Turtle. We got Leo, so we got Leonardo here. That's pretty cool. Uh, always love the shot glasses. As I said before, when you do these type of boxes, you have to expect to get glasses, mugs, and shot glasses. Uh, we have... Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. That's a big spoiler. So, I, I didn't see anything, I just saw green. Okay, next I have... Oh, that's kind of cool. A Krang magnet. So, um, lately I've been uh, on this huge adventure. I might show you someday. Um, in here, I've got tons and tons of cards. Ninja Turtles, right there. Uh, you guys probably saw that in my Your Toy Box uh, unboxing. Uh, I'm making these things into magnets. So, I've got a whole fridge just filled with magnets right now. So this will be really cool. This is going to take up a good section. I actually have an Ninja Turtle section on my fridge. So sweet. Grand. Next we have a notebook. Things to do. Get groceries. Feed Bebop and Rocksteady. Kill turtles. Kill turtles. It's the foot pad. So this is actually kind of unique because it's not something I would see in a store often. Um, I've got tons of notepads so this will be really fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use this. I think it's really cool just to hold on to. Cool, so notepad. Lots of great variety in this one. Uh, bubble wrap, nothing there. Ooh! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Nickelodeon version. 
Uh, two inch figure inside contains one mini mate minifigure. Visit minimateseries2.com so you can get Leo, Splinter, Norman, I, Chris Bradford, Kiari, Casey Jones. Wow, Casey Jones looks so different. I've, uh, I'm not too familiar with the new one. I just know that I've heard that it's pretty good. So someday I might check it out. What, let me get, I guarantee you, I'm gonna get the one that I don't know, so I can't talk about. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I got Casey Jones. So that's pretty cool. It's already built up and everything. And uh, he's just like a little figurine, almost like a Lego-ish type character. He's got hockey stick, sticks and baseball bats, and you probably can't make that out too much. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. That 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 uh, that looks really neat. Now we got to be coming near the end of the box. Ooh, I got a can hugger. I got Michelangelo. I feel like we're only missing one other turtle, and I feel like we might have gotten through most of the turtles now. So we got Donnie. We have Leo. Um, Michelangelo. Then I guess we're just. I'm expecting a Raphael item. I'm actually drinking right now because it's 11 o'clock and I want a beer. So that will go right there on my beer. Will that sit nicely? All right, thank you, Mikey. Next we have a poster, micro poster. Culture print, alpha series. Okay, <laughs> making weird faces. Okay, uh, pizza shop. You got Shredder getting covered. I would have gotten away with it too. It wasn't those damn turtles. It's uh, it's uh, Shredder, and he's covered in a tire. He's got the monkey mask off of him, so it just reminds me of Scooby Doo, and the Scooby Gang. Uh, we got a Ninja Turtles, Mighty Morphin Ninja Turtles, and it's Power Rangers reference. These are kind of cool. Uh, I think there's one more here. Oh, well, is that it? Oh, tonight we dine on turtle soup. It says turtle soup on it. <laughs> And of course, we could have gotten Reservoir Turtles and the Mouser Munch. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, frame them on your desk and collect them all. Culture Shock Micro Posters from Collectible Geek. I think they're a Collectible Geek exclusive. Uh, that's pretty cool. I gotta stop for a second, even though I think this is the end of the box, and say I was really scared to open up this box because I didn't want to say anything negative about this company because they've been bringing out really fantastic boxes for the past couple months. But honestly, what they fit in this small little box is actually quite fantastic. Uh, I think there's one more thing in here. It feels like a comic book. It is a comic book! It's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, IDW, um, Eastman, Waltz, and Smith Patterson. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so amazing. So, the reason this is amazing, unless you guys haven't been following the geeky news over the past couple months, I believe this is the issue where Spoilers! Donatello was killed. Uh, so that's, I think that's Donnie's hand there. I actually was at a Comic-Con convention a couple months ago and I tried to buy this the day after it was released and they were selling it for ridiculous amounts because of the popularity of it. I'm so excited to have this because I actually want to read this. Um, even though Donnie is my favorite Don is my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle because he's a smart guy and I was like the nerdy guys, even like Power Rangers, I like the Blue Ranger, which is kind of weird. Um, okay, that is it for the box. And here comes a very quick recap. No, um, no Raphael, but that's all right. I'll forgive them. Inside the box. Oh, it even tells you what you would have got in the I Want It All exclusive. Oh, uh, so there are two boxes that they do. This is the Kawabunka Cash. So the, the, what they have is their boxes are called caches. Uh, this one here has all of the items here. And then they have one where it's a little bit more money and it's called the I Want It All Cash. The I Want It All Cash came with an April Neal Pop, a Rocksteady and Bebop Pop, and a Foot Soldier Pop, plus a Raphael Funko Tintastic tin, and the mystery mini that I wanted. But that's okay, I've got enough of them as is. Um, okay, so. We got the can hugger slash bottle hugger of Michelangelo, and they were giving it all four. We've got the TMNT 44 variant uh, comic cover right here. We've got the shot glass. They gave away all four again. I have Leo. They gave away the mini mates. They gave away all of them, so this is kind of random. I got Casey Jones. I'm excited about that. Uh, we got the keychain. Really wish I would have got a different keychain, but oh well. It'll be really cool for someone when they open up the prize box when we do a giveaway in the next few subscribers. Um, we got the Krang Magnet, which is Rot Hell. The Micro Posters, there are four to collect. We have two. 
So the Power Ranger one and the Scooby-Doo one. I could not be Scooby-Doo for all I know. And last but not least, we have the Foot Soldier Pad. Kill Turtles. All right. Overall, guys, I really enjoyed this cash. Um, I love Collectible Geek. This is my first time doing Collectible Geek. I have another one coming in a couple weeks because I signed up for one. And I'm really excited to see that one, so keep watching the page. But other than that, um, for a Ninja Turtles fan, I love this. This is great. I want to go watch the new movie. Uh, no, exclude that. I don't want to go watch the new movie. I want to go watch the original movie and maybe like some of the old cartoons. I, maybe I'll check out the new stuff. I don't know. Anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. Of course, you know the usual stuff like comment, subscribe. Follow me on um, at Misplaced Comma on the Instagrams and of course on the Twitter, which I really do need to get more at. I haven't really tweet much. I need to look into that. All right, guys, thank you so much. And thank you so much for all the viewers who have been following me thus far. All right, guys, once we hit 50, crazy giveaway. Later days.